What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with another quick Hackintosh tip for you, this time on the brand new Chimera 2.0 bootloader. Now if you've been following my videos for the past couple months or so, you'll know that not too long ago there was an iMessage bug in the Hackintosh world and honestly in you know the overall Mac world too, even some legitimate Macs had this problem. However, if you were running a Hackintosh at the time, you'll know that you had to install an entirely different bootloader to get around this issue. Now if you follow my videos or if you follow the Tony Mac community, then most likely you're very familiar with the Chimera bootloader, which in my personal opinion is the easiest to use, my opinion works the best. I know there's many others out there, and the one we had to install for the iMessage fix was Clover. Unfortunately, this broke a lot of people's installations. Some people, you know, their SM BIOS got changed up, some people just couldn't boot at all. For me, everything was fine and dandy, my iMessage, you know, would work just fine. But I like, you know, Chimera, and now just recently, if you head on over to Tony Mac, the brand new Chimera 2.0 is now available. So if you're like me, you want to go ahead and get rid of that Clover bootloader, it's very easy to do. And so if you want to go ahead and download this, I will not redistribute this as, you know, that's the wish of the website and the developers. So head over to TonyMacX86.com, sign up if you haven't already downloads and you can download it right from the page. I already have it here so I'll be using that. But to uninstall the bootloader, uh, you know the Clover bootloader that we've been using, what you want to do is come up to your main drive and you want to delete this EFI and the EFI backups folder. So you know just go ahead and do that and that should uninstall the uh, Clover bootloader for you and now all you want to do is simply just run the Chimera 2.0 installer. And really quick here before moving on, it just kind of gives you a change lock here. And while there's, you know, a couple little things here with graphics and, you know, uh, processor frequency fixes, things like that, the big thing is that this now has the iMessage integration that we all know and love. So now your iMessage will work without having to change that bootloader. So all we're going to do is just very simply uh, continue, continue, continue. And actually, you know what, I'll go back. I kind of skipped over this. This is different because this is actually going to install a file to the root of our drive. It's going to tell you this. And basically, this is what enables the iMessage to work. So that's pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and click continue, continue. Make sure you just install it to your drive. And once you do that, you are good to go. So we'll close out of the installation here. And upon a reboot, you'll be back to Chimera and iMessage goodness. So I hope this video helped you guys. It's just a very easy and actually for once a quick, quick Hackintosh tip. I'm at CPKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com. And I hope to see you guys back here in the very near future.